want a bigger chest. I want bigger shoulders. I want a bigger back. I just want everything to be freaking bigger. You know what I'm saying? Merry Christmas, everyone, or happy holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. David here, got a new video for y'all today, but before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, so you don't miss out on any new videos. Remember, new videos every week, specifically Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays, three days a week, so don't miss out. So today, as a quick reminder, no lift, no gift, before Christmas gets here, we gotta make sure we get the pump going on. We got an arm workout for today, so here's what we got. One, two, three, four, five exercises. We're gonna be focusing on the arms, six working sets per muscle group. So here's what we got. First things first, pin press. Lately, I have been having a little bit of issues with my lockout on the bench press. So what muscle group is that mainly? Triceps. So we're gonna set the pin to a certain height and then boom, really lock it out. I ended up doing three sets of five with two plates and 25, so 275. Again, really focusing on controlling on the way down. Now when it comes to a pin press, you're not just tapping and going, all right? It's not a touch and go. You're not just bouncing off the pins. You actually gotta let it sit on the pins and sometimes the bar is gonna be bouncing up and down if you don't time it right and you get one side first before the other. So I made sure I let both sides down good and then boom, try to explode it up. Again, really focusing on that tricep. And pin press is a really good exercise for if you struggle with the lockout portion of your bench press, depending on where you start struggling, you wanna set the pin height just slightly below that struggle point and then work your way from there. Moving on from that, we got neutral grip pull downs. So, boom, straight up and down. And I decided to do it weighted. I tried a couple body weight sets, but I'm all like, ah, nah, I need a little bit more resistance. So I instead did the same thing as I did for the first exercise, three sets of five. Decided to do it with weight around my waist, specifically I had a 45 pound plate. The last few reps, mainly reps four and five, especially for the late, later sets, those got a little bit more of a, you know, a little bit of more of a cheating motion. I kicked up a little with my leg, but you know what? At the end of the day, still worked out my lats, still worked out bicep. Now, the reason why I went with neutral grip is because lately I've been wanting to work a little bit more on my forearms. So for those who don't know, if you do a chin up, so palms facing you, it's gonna be a lot of bicep. However, if you do it with a neutral grip, so palms facing each other, it pretty much mimics a hammer curl. And which part of your forearm does a hammer curl work? Right here, brachioradialis, this part right here. So that's why I did it. And I'd like to point out, these two exercises usually will get associated with a back workout and a chest workout. But you gotta remember, every pressing motion is also a tricep exercise because you're extending the elbow. What muscle gets used to extend the elbow? Your triceps. Every pull down motion or any rowing motion usually is thought about doing on a back day, but it's also a bicep exercise because again, you're bending the elbow and what muscle allows you to force yourself to bend your elbow? your biceps. So not everything has to be an isolation exercise for your arms. Any pressing variation, any rowing or pull down variation, it's all gonna be for triceps and biceps as well. Afterwards, moved on to tricep push-downs. Now we're going more to, you know, the typical tricep or isolation movements for your arms. Went ahead and did higher reps on that, three sets of 12, really controlled high reps, squeezing that tricep. Afterwards, went on to Zotman curls. Now, for those who don't know, Zotman curl, you start off with dumbbells, palms facing out. As you curl up, once you get up here, turn your palms out and then control it on the way down. So you get a little bit of forearm work in. Again, just wanna make sure I get a little bit of forearm workout in there. I really wanna emphasize starting to grow them a little bit more. Now, the thing is, when you turn them out, don't turn your elbows out with it, okay? It's just your wrists that you're rotating out. Do not flare the elbows. Keep the elbows tucked in the whole time. Control it on the way down. Same thing, did three sets of 12 with that. And then finally finished off with wrist roller. Now for the wrist roller, for those who don't know, you can either use the one where you're holding it up with your shoulder. I personally don't like that one quite as much because when you're doing that, what is the first thing that usually fatigues? your front delt, you know, the front of your shoulder. Your shoulders start getting tired, you start dropping it, and it pretty much takes the emphasis away from your forearms, which is the whole point of you doing that in the first place. So I made a homemade one where I could just attach it to the end of a bar, and the bar is what's holding it up. And it was also a lot thicker than the normal ones, so it really for forces me to work on that grip strength as well. So I went up once. Once the weight hits the top, 
boom, I control it on the way down. I don't let it just roll down. I got to control it on the way down. Afterwards, I go in reverse because a lot of people work this part of the forearm, the big meaty part by bringing their hand up. That's called wrist flexion. But you got to remember, you got to work both sides of the forearm. The underside right here, this is what allows you to bring your hand up. That side doesn't get worked as often. So now I'm rolling it backwards you know i'm reaching across and then boom rolling it back towards me that one's gonna be a lot harder that one's gonna burn a lot more but you know what it's worth it so for that one i just said six times because i can't really count how many times it's gonna take me or how many rolls it's gonna take for the weight to finally reach the top so i'm just gonna say going up one way and then controlling it down and then rolling it back make the way up and then come down that counts as one rest and then boom i'm gonna do it for six times in total again for every single muscle group triceps biceps forms specifically both sides of the form everything gets six working sets warm-up sets do not count okay they got to be good quality working sets all in all it was a great arm workout a little physique update right here worked out the biceps worked out the triceps and worked out the form i want to point out if you're going to be working out arms or if you're just going to be working out in general to build muscle do not neglect your forearms your forearms are part of your arms all right how many times have you seen those big old bodybuilders they have a massive upper arm but then they got off small forearms that looks like t-rex arms all right we do not want that you gotta balance out the physique whenever you're wearing a shirt whether it be a short sleeve or three quarter sleeves or a long sleeve that you roll up what is the number one muscle group that's always going to be visible it's going to be your forearms you want the veins running down them you want them to be be nice and big you know it helps with that grip strength when you're going in for the handshake work out your forearms it is important all right so hopefully y'all enjoyed this arm workout again gotta get the gains in comment down below what is your arm workout what are your favorite exercises what is your split things like that also comment down below any other video suggestions you'd like to see me do whether it be about mindset motivation nutrition diet workouts programs whatever it is if it's fitness related comment down below i'll be more than happy to make that video for y'all also be sure to subscribe not just to this channel but my girlfriend's channel and then our couple's channel so you miss out on any new videos because remember we got new videos every week across the board for all three channels and then for instagram and tiktok same thing make sure you follow me on my accounts girlfriend's accounts couples accounts i put all the links down in the description below with that being said we'll catch y'all next time